Hello, welcome to another problem from lead code this time. We have to convert sorted array to binary search tree. Given an array where elements are sorted in ascending order, convert it to a height balanced binary search tree. So a height balanced binary search tree is a binary tree in which the depth of two subtrees of every node never differ by more than one. So for example, this is the sorted array. And this is the binary tree that we have to convert it to. Now see, 0 is the uh, taken as the root node. Why? Because 0 is the midpoint of this array. If it had been some other element as a root node, then if we are trying to make a binary tree. A binary tree is one which has the left elements which are smaller than the root node and right elements are always bigger than the root node. So see, 0 is the root node, minus 3 is lesser than 0 and 9 is greater than 0. If minus 3 is the root node, minus 10 is smaller than that. So that is the left of that. And similarly, 9 has 5, which is to the left of it. So basically, this is a binary tree. If we had taken any other node apart from 0 as the root node, uh, what would have happened is we wouldn't have got a binary tree which has a height balanced, right? Because um, uh, by logic, you know, the elements would have not been evenly distributed to the left and right side. So for the elements to be distributed evenly to the left and right side, the root node should be the middle node. So we can use recursion on this. It's very similar to a binary search. It's very similar because uh, see what happens is first we are going to allot the middle node as the root node and then we are going to change the indices. So then I'm going to only um, shorten the array and pass it again in my recursive function. And then what happens is minus 3 will become the midpoint. So minus 3 will get allotted next. And then again, I pass shortened array where only minus 10 is passed. So then minus 10 becomes the midpoint and so on. So let's start coding this to understand this properly. So basically, this is my coding tab and I'll just zoom it a little bit more so that it's clear. So what I'm going to do first is First basic condition will be if nums dot size is equal to zero, then I will just return null. There's no point in conversion when the element is itself not there. Okay. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a recursive function. Let me just name it BST in short for binary search tree. And I'm going to pass nums, that is my vector that I have received. I'm going to pass this and I'm going to pass a left and rightmost index. So left index will be the leftmost index that will be zero and rightmost index will just be nums dot size minus one. So I'm going to pass this initially in the recursive function. Now I'm going to make the recursive function just below this. So my recursive function is going to return a tree node object. Okay, so it's going tree node is the structure. So object of that. So tree node star and I'm going to call it BST. Now what happens is I will quickly uh, name the parameters vector int nums so i will have to specify the type and i'll call int left and int right okay now what happens is let me quickly uh, work on this function so similar to a binary search if left is greater than right then i will return null no more children are to be allotted for the binary search tree okay if this doesn't happen then i will have to a lot midpoint and midpoint will be left plus right minus left by two will be my midpoint element. Okay, now if this is a midpoint element, that means I will have to store it as my node. So for storing it as a node, I'll declare tree node star node and I'm going to store it. So basically I'll have to give new tree node. I'm just allotting an instance of the structure. So an object of the structure will be made and um, I'll have to pass the value. So the value to be allotted because the constructor function of this takes a value. So the value will be nums of midpoint. That is the element that is there in the array, which is at midpoint index. Okay. So it's very similar to a binary search. And um, now when this gets allotted, node will also have left and right children. So basically, for allotting the left, left and right children of the node, I will have to call this function recursively again till the left and right functions get allotted. Okay, so I'll call the binary search tree again and I'm going to call it again with the same 
array nums but this time the indices will be shortened so that's how the array will also get shortened which i'm passing okay so i'm passing nums but only particular indices so the leftmost you know similar to binary search i'm going to pass from left till midpoint minus one so this will be the leftmost array that i'm going to pass and when i'm going to pass the right array so in that case it will be from midpoint plus one to the rightmost element and now i'll just return node so basically this should work let me run and see if it's working so i'll just submit and see if it's working so yes it's working thank you